day everyone, I am Destiny Evolve and I'm going to discuss one of Sigmund Freud's case studies known as the Anna O. Anna O is a pseudonym given by the physicians Sigmund Freud and Joseph Brower to Bertha Pappenheim. A young woman from Vienna, Austria, was diagnosed with hysteria in 1818. Hysteria is a psychoneurosis marked by emotional excitability and disturbances of the psychogenic, sensory, vasomotor, and visceral functions. It is a definition coming from Merriam Webster's dictionary. Her case is written in the book that Brower wrote with Sigmund Freud, entitled Studies on Hysteria. Bertha Poppenheim sought Brewer's help, experiencing a range of symptoms that included headaches, partial paralysis, hallucinations, blurred vision, and speech problems. She started to experience these symptoms the time she was taking good care of her dying father and reversing when her father passed away. During the course of treatment, which lasted from 1880 to 1882, Brewer found out that talking about her experiences seemed to offer Pappenheim some relief from her Ill illness. The treatment was then called talking cure, a form of psychotherapy. However, Freud's conclusion in the cause of Anna O's case did not coincide with the conclusion of Brewer. Soon, their friendship and collaboration ended but Freud had continued his work the development of talk therapies and treatment for mental illness. Five years later, Freud published his book, The Interpretation of Dreams, which formalized much of his psychoanalytic theory. Bertha Pappenheim was born in Vienna, Austria on February 27, 1859 and died on May 28, 1936. She became a prominent figure in the feminist movement in Austria and Germany after her recovery from her illness, as well as she also founded the League for Jewish Women in 1934. Sigmund Freud, the father of psychoanalysis, was a physician also, a medical doctor, psychologist, and influential thinker of the early 20th century. He was born on May 6, 1856, and died on September 23, 1939, in London, England. Joseph Brewer, a physician and a physi physiologist, born on January 15, 1842, in Vienna, Austria, and died on June 20, 1925, in Vienna, Austria, as well. Good day, everyone. So I will going to discuss Anna O's case findings and analysis. Anna O was treated by Brior for severe cough, paralysis of the extremities on the right side of her body, and disturbances of vision, hearing, and speech, as hallucinations and loss of consciousness. She has she was rather diagnosed with hysteria. Treatment is regarded as marking as the beginning of psychoanalysis. So according to one perspective, examination of neurological details suggests that Anna suffered from complex partial seizures exaggerated by dependent, uh, drug dependent. Hans Esenk and medical historian Elizabeth M. Thornton argued that it was caused by tuberculosis meningitis. In contrast, Lucy Freeman reports that Anna O made a remarkable recovery following her treatment. Some believe that Freud uh, misdiagnosed her, find she in fact suffered from temporal um, calm epilepsy. In conclusion to that, there are so many findings and analysis about Anna O's case. The question is, how does the study useful? Anna O's case study played an important role in the establishment and development of psychoanalysis. Her real name is Bertha Papenheim, and her story fascinated Freud and served as the basis for its study on Hysteria 1875. This study is trying to seek for the proper treatment of mental illness. So basically, the case of Anna O serve as the guide, serve as the basis for Freud to seek the proper treatment of mental illness. Bertha's case also influenced the development of the free association technique where Brewer observed that Bertha talked freely and whatever 
came into her mouth. And this is the good way to improve its condition, especially to those person who have psychoanalytic problem. So through communication, it will improve the condition of that patient.